Hello and welcome to Music Appreciation. Hopefully you are enrolled in the correct course. If you are, I am your instructor, Lindsay Allen. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I am a tiger through and through. I actually started off my career here at Cali as a student before becoming an instructor several years later. I am from Arkansas City, Kansas, and I currently reside here. Um, I moved back this way um, after being gone for several years, um, continuing my education and then starting my career in teaching. I started back here at, col at the college here as an instructor in 2010 and I'm currently um, on faculty here as the music instructor um, for applied voice lessons so I'm the lead applied voice lesson teacher. I also teach a couple classes for our music majors it's called oral skills where they learn how to sight sing music uh, uh, like learn how to sight sing um, as they're reading their music and also how to orally identify um, different aspects of music. Um, I started off my educational career though in Tonganoxie, Kansas, which is up by Lawrence, Kansas City area. I was there from 2005 to 2008. I was at the elementary school, so I've definitely uh, taken a big leap in ages um, from starting off my career. Um, I taught kindergarten through third grade general music. Absolutely loved it. They were definitely um, some of the best learning experiences I could ever ever have. Um, but I was missing some of the, the aspects that um, I get to have uh, conversationally with some older students so I decided to continue on with my education. My education started of course here at Cali. I earned my, asso I earned my Associate of Arts degree um, with a vocal emphasis and I first started off as a vocal music major in performance. Um, after graduating here at Cali I transferred to Kansas State University where I continued on for the first year with a vocal performance, but very quickly um, was drawn into the education field. Uh, one of those reasons, of course, was probably because um, as a performer, it's it's a difficult field out there, and I really uh, felt the need to have something a little bit more stable. And also, I fell in love with the education side of it, the, the interaction that I have with students. So I continued on there and um, finished uh, my Bachelor of Music Education at K-State and was more in uh, inclined with the elementary students at that point. Um, I was not, um, as you say, gifted in the uh, conducting aspect of music. So I wanted the one-on-one -on -one with the little little kiddos. After teaching in Tonganoxy for three years, I decided that I would quit my full-time job. This is, of course, right about when the recession started to hit. So a very smart move on my part. Quit my full-time job with benefits and uh, moved to Wichita. One of those reasons was I um, wanted to be a little bit closer to family, and also I I really missed I really missed education. I really missed learning, and funny to say, I actually missed being in school. And as a teacher, um, we are required to continue continue our education, so I decided why not just do that with with the masters in mind. So I enrolled at Wichita State University, and um, those two years there led me to my master of music education. Um, I ended up getting. Um, an emphasis in voice, so I studied uh, voice quite a bit, which prepared me really well to end up back here at Cali, where a position ha was available for me to teach applied voice lessons. Um, when I first started my master's degree, I assumed that I would continue on with elementary music, but to my surprise, um, with the studies that I did uh, for my master's degree, I was drawn to um, upper education. So that's where I ended up back here at Cali. Um, this next uh, little section here shows you just a little bit about the loves of my life. Um, at the top right, um, that was uh, my husband and I's wedding day. His name's Matt. He's a wonderful man and, and an absolutely gifted musician as well and a wonderful author. He's actually published a book. And um, you can see him. Um, you can't really tell too much from that right picture at the top there, but we are in a golf cart, which is where he feels very at home. He's an avid golfer, and um, sometimes I go along for the ride. He uh, is very patient in teaching me to golf, which I'm horrible at. Down at the bottom are some very special fellows in our life. Um, these are our nephews. Uh, the bottom left is um, my oldest nephew, Isaac. He is now five years old as of this past November. He'll be starting kindergarten. Um, um, this fall. The middle is uh, my husband's brother's son, that's Andrew, and he is an absolute joy. As you can see, he has 
uh, he's very active. Uh, this was taken this past uh, November at Thanksgiving. He's an amazing, brilliant child, and he just turned eight. So he'll be starting third grade this fall. The bottom right, the little blue-eyed boy there, uh, is our youngest nephew. This is Noah, and he just turned two this past February. So they are... Um, they are the ones that we get to spoil on a regular basis so uh, we're able to love on them as much as we possibly can so they are definitely a huge part of our lives and we love having them as nephews um, again I just want to welcome you to music appreciation uh, one of the suggestions I definitely have is to stay in touch with me if you ever have any questions I'm here for you in your syllabus you have my contact contact information uh, check your email regularly whether that is um, your C-mail, which you are welcome to forward to a more used email address that you have. There, I believe, are some instructions on that online for you um, in that C-mail area. Um, but most definitely, the the way that I will be contacting you and staying in touch with you is through Angel. So contact me through Angel as well because that seems to be the absolute best way for me to uh, get your emails in a timely manner. So stay on top of all that. Make sure you get your assignments done on time. I do not accept late work. So um, if you get too behind, it's just going to make things a huge headache for you, especially in the summer course, because summer goes so quickly and we have a lot of information to cover. So if you ever have any questions, please, please, please get a hold of me. Um, of course, uh, this is not known as necessarily an extra resource. This is the resource for you, um, your book. And the extra resource with that, though, is the book's website. It's uh, listed there, the www.bedfordstmartins.com forward slash listen. So you can access that. This book's website is pretty phenomenal. In fact, the very first uh, week's assignment list has an activity in there where I'll have you explore this book's website. Um, there are some really great media factors that this book has um, on its website. So please check that out and um, hopefully that'll help you a little bit within your studying as well. Um, why do I love music? There's, there's nothing absolutely nothing in the world like it. Um, I love what Gustav Mahler says. He says, if a composer could say what he had to say in words, he would not bother trying to say it in music. Music is a powerful, powerful thing in our lives, whether it is uh, country music, rap music, um, quote unquote classical music, whatever music it is that you listen to, hopefully you listen to it because it has some sort of connection to you and it's not just noise out there. It has um, a connection that no, no other art form for me really does the trick so I hope that you enjoy this class and um, like I said if you need anything at all please get a hold of me and I look forward to getting to know each and every one of you so have a great semester and I will talk to you soon